Welcome to the Unhinged Podcast. I'm Zena. And I'm Danny. And today we're doing Kinks Part 2 mm-hmm. because we got loads of stuff in last week and we, I'd say we only went through half of it. Yeah, we did. Um, so we went a little bit more deep into kinks this week. <clears throat> and then at the end of the show, we'll find out why we have kinks. Yeah. I have some funny kinks as well yeah. that you've never heard I of. I have some ones that I've never heard of either. Yeah. So last episode got a good um, reaction anyway. Yeah. Um, and we learnt loads. Yeah, we did. We hope you learnt loads. Yeah. And uh, you know what? This is a groundbreaking week. Why? Because I got a recap. You got a recap? I got a fucking recap. Oh my God. After the 24th episode, finally have but, a week recap. But honestly though, why don't you get recaps? I don't know. I just seem to get the filth. And I don't really get the filth. Yeah, it's weird. But I get the recaps. Yeah. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Maybe it's just because we're a great team. Yeah. Right, well, we start with the recaps. Yeah, do you okay. want to start with mine? Okay, we'll let you go first because it's your first time. I know, I'm got a recap, so excited. Okay. <laughs> very good. The donkey punch is done during anal. When the dude is about to come, he punches the person on the nubble where your head meets your neck to make the bum hole twitch. It's super fucked as you can easily kill them. They made a movie about it. And bulk porn is puke porn because bulk is slang for puke. <gasps> That was very informative. It was. That was very informative, yeah. especially about the whole donkey punch yeah, thing. Yeah, so he like, so they hit him in the, in the net, like he could, like he said, no. you could clearly Yeah, no, I know what it is, but I didn't make know a movie for that. it, kill someone on it. I, I didn't know for that specific reason. Yes, yeah, so to, to make, make the, the asshole, asshole bigger. Twitch. No, to make a twitch. Twitch? So it's like built in vibrator in your butthole. I mean, I'm sure you could, there's another way you could do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Without like just neck put a fucking, fucking cock ring on you while you're doing it. Or, do you know, if you no, want to just do like, do you ever do those muscles with your asshole? No, because I don't get fucked in the asshole. But yeah, like your kegels in your butthole. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Like just do that. Do you kegel when you're being fucked? I don't know. I do. I don't think so. I just when you're about to come. Oh, I don't know. I've never really like concentrate. <laughs> Like just claws them in, just as they're about to come, and you can hear them building up. I just go, yeah, no, well, I'm like, you're not get out of it now, bitch. Jade, (laughs) lock them in forever. (laughs) Jade does. Do I, Jade? No. Do I go tighter when I'm woman or anything? No. No, A little bit. Sometimes I can feel it. I can feel it, Jared. Sometimes I kegel. Sometimes I kegel. Sometimes I kegel. I'm kegling right now. Are you? Yeah. Why are, you lift, why are you lifting yourself up? You're not meant to look. See, I'm doing it right now. It actually gives me oh, a Oh, now I am. <laughs> I know. You were just tensing your arse. Yeah, I was just tensing my arse. She was like, <laughs> my body forgot what it was doing, but now I'm doing a Kegel. Yeah. Kind of makes me horny. No, it makes me feel weird. It makes gives me tingles or something in my fingers. I feel all weird. Yeah, is that not what horny feels like to you? No. No? When you're horny. What do you feel like when you're horny? I get like this thing in, inside. Inside where? In your mm, vagina? Yeah. Do you not like when you're horny, like feel... No, I get this like, f- like overwhelming, like flow, like overwhelming flow of like. <laughs> in your hard. vagina though? Yeah, but oh, it's kind of really in my lower stomach kind of. No, I get like, it. When I feel horny, obviously I feel it in my vagina, but I get like all like tingles and stuff no, all over my body. No, mine's all inside. Really? Yeah. <gasps> How interesting. That is interesting. I've never wondered about that before. No. Girls, when you get horny, what do you feel? Do you feel it inside or do you feel it all over your body? Yeah. I feel it all over my body. No. All over the body. All over the body. All over the body. All over the real bad man. Right. Real bad man. Right, give me a, give me a, give me a. Recap. Yes. I'm, I'm team Xena. On what? Danny needs to stop talking about sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop it. I'm going through the same shit, see, listening to it. I feel you, girl. <laughs> See, you need to stop talking about dicks. Well, fuck off, because you don't hear anyone complaining about you eating people out, like. No, because people want to hear that. Oh, yeah, but they didn't, men want to hear me talk about well, it. Well, I didn't get That's any complaints in. Woman. Have you got any complaints in about yeah, it? Yeah, I said that you're a fucking rat. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute liar. Right. <laughs> Hi, girls. Just an appreciation message. I absolutely love listening to your podcast. I listen to you every morning and I have serious anxiety. I've recently started up um, in a new place and don't know anyone. So listening to the podcast has helped me so much. Um, it's like listening to friends. Keep it up. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Thanks so much for writing yeah, that that's in. that's so nice. And I hope your anxiety eases up. Because, yeah. girl, I know what it fucking feels yeah. like. I still suffer with anxiety. Especially in a new workplace as yeah. well. Like when you don't really know anyone, it's hard to kind of gel yourself yeah. in. Yeah. Because, yeah, because there's usually when you're a new person, there's already clicks made. Yeah. It's hard to kind of. I know. And I I'm, I, I would struggle as well, like making friends and stuff. I usually avoid people. Yeah. I'm one of those people, right? Wherever I got a new job, like I'd go out and sit in my car for my lunch. I would never mingle with people. No, no, I'd be I just a find it so awkward. 
No, I would be a mingler. Yeah, the anxiety. I went through a stage where I actually didn't leave my house for a whole year. Mm. We don't talk about that anyway. No, we won't. That was years ago. Anyway, next one. Mm. Fucking love the pod girls listening from day one. You're both fit and funny as fuck. I love that as a man, you lot make me fucking laugh out loud walking <laughs> down the street. Only then to a sentence later makes me think, oh, do they hate men? <laughs> <laughs> but I can see why. Keep it up. We don't hate we don't. men. I love men. We hate people. I think people. men are the coolest. No, we just hate people. Yeah, we hate stupid people. I don't hate anybody. Like, there's women I hate and there's men I hate. I, like, yeah. I hate everyone equally. Yeah, we hate everyone equally, yeah. not just the men. Yeah. I don't hate anybody. No, me either. No, but just no, some there's, stupid things yeah. that, that men do. But women also, we give out about women just yeah. as much as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've had men write in saying that they love, like, us kind of where we stick up for men sometimes and all because yeah. a lot of women don't do that. Yeah. They just jump on the bandwagon to, yeah. like, attack men. Yeah. But no, no, we'd always look at from both sides. Yeah, of, from both sides, from both every perspectives. Every angle. Yeah. Angles everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to transition anyway into a man. So like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't, I can't just have one side. Can't just be one side. I have no. to have both perspectives. You have to set the scene. Like, yeah. Set the think scene. I'd be good as a man. No. Think I'd look good as a man. I think I would. Think you'd With look a beard. Good? I always like, you know, those filters on TikTok with yeah, beards Yeah, but they make your face look better anyway, though. Do you know what I mean? It's not just... <laughs> no, but it's the same as any filter. They're chiseled. <laughs> they ch- so, what are you saying? <laughs> Saying. So no. so I look ugly as a man. Yeah. And I don't have good fe- features no. on my face. You don't have manly features. You don't have masculine features. As a masculine lesbian, that kind of hurts. No, but in your face, don't you don't. Yeah, but you're still fucking female. Like what about my jaw. Well, your jaw's only like that from swinging it for so long. So all the like, worked muscles. What's your man the white t shirts is it the cartoon? Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. No, <laughs> we're not got a jawline like him. No. Well at least Johnny Bravo. dick. Right. <laughs> When is the foursome going to happen? I'm sure Danny won't mind you grinding your lips on Aaron. <laughs> you horny bastard! That person was definitely having a wine call they were typing yeah, they that. Were. Yeah. That's that's very in depth. That there is, is going to be no foursome. <laughs> I've already said me, Jay, and Dina will be not having sex with each other again. Yeah. Sad times. Sad times. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to happen, guys. <laughs> No. Anyway. I'd be too afraid it'd fuck things up now. Like, we got away lightly the first time. Mm-hmm. I think it'd complicate things now mm-hmm. if Case we did Aaron, it again. Of course it would. In case Aaron fell in love, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah. He's, he's already, already there. Yeah. Already you know what I mean? There. He's already, like, confused about his feelings towards me. I can see. I can mm-hmm. tell by the vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't even ro- read this one before. Nothing about the next podcast. Just want to say, great tits scene. I will play it. <laughs> I didn't even, would you ever piss the fuck off? I swear to God. I swear I didn't read it. I swear I didn't put that in on purpose. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of people saying I had great tits. It's like, she I do. know it. Like, do I play with tits. them all the time mm. when I'm by myself. Um, they're just like, I just keep them locked in. They're, they're just, just for Jade, there. really. Yeah. They're just for Jade, really. You um, showed me your boobs. <laughs> I didn't take my bra off though. No, I, no, I don't think any of us took our bra off. Yeah. I think it was just our bottoms that were I off. I kind of, do you know, like when I first... <laughs> well, like, we'll get our flaps out for each other, but God forbid you see the nips. Yeah, but they're the good God bits. God forbid. <laughs> they're the good bits to have to come out though. The vagina has to come out though to enjoy the threesome. Do you know what I mean? The tits can stay in. Like, yeah, the tits They're are secondary spare, necessary. Yeah, they're a spare Secondary part. necessary necessity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I would be, I would have been like sub, like... Uh, subconscious oh god medication's working overtime try find the word try find the word I would have been conscious about my tits mm. out, out of my bra yeah I'd be meeting the same. someone I new because like I feel like they're kind of meeting someone new uh, hello hanging or whatever you know what I mean you don't have hangy boobs well I just don't like I I don't know I feel like they're not where they should be yeah. or where they used to be when I was in my 20s well, mine so obviously not. you know what I mean gravity does its job I just hold my nipple bars up now at this point and they're just <laughs> you should you could get a, you should get a string around your nipple bars put it around your ears <gasps> that's a great idea that actually is a great idea just the invisible ones do your like, titties hang should... low do they wobble through a bow can you tie them in a knot can, can you tie them in a bow? bow can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental shoulder can you tie your vagina in a bow no but Jay can mm. no she can't though she says she can yeah it's very all she does is make a talk yeah me 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 will we put the video up on Patreon oh yeah Okay, perfect. <laughs> anyway, right. should we get the ball fucking yeah. rolling on these kinks? Yes. Yeah. So we asked people to send in weird kinks that they've heard of, kinks that they've tried that they didn't 
think they would like but ended up loving or things that they thought they would love and ended up disliking um so i got one in got one in got one in um very into being degraded which as of late includes golden showers never in a million years that i think i'd be into that Ooh, mm. loads of people been degraded I don't think I'd like being degraded. No. You like, I don't mind, like, you know, if you call me a bit of a whore or slut or whatever, you know, take that dick, you fucking slut, you know, yeah. things like that. But don't, don't. Don't be like, take that dick, you ugly, disgusting fat looking fat whore. Yeah, you, I don't think. Yeah, yeah I don't stay there, go like brush that. your fucking teeth, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I, yeah. I don't think I'd be into no, that. No, I don't think I'd be into that, yeah. no. So, like, what level of degrading do you like? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't like feeling like lesser of a human towards yeah. my partner do you know yeah. i don't mind you calling me like a bit of a name or something yeah. like that um but like if they're like you fucking do what i say now or and i'd be like go yeah, that's fuck different. yourself yeah no i'd different. be like i'm not doing what you say you little bastard yeah like you don't How want about you like, shut the fuck up yeah you don't want your feelings actually hurt no because yeah. i get too defensive yeah. like if they try especially like show me your bank account you broke yeah. ass bitch <laughs> Oh Give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so it depends on what level of degrading yeah. you want. I Wouldn't think I'd inch. cry. I'm a sensitive little princess. Yeah, I don't, I can't see you being degraded now at all. You would definitely sob. Yeah, no, I would. <laughs> Be nice to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so call me pretty and, and stuff. And, yeah. And all that nice things. Okay, Jade? Girls. Yes. Make sure you're sitting down when I tell you this. Oh, we're sitting. We're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Myself and my fella listen to the pod every week without fail and he said i can share this with you oh please don't think we are scum after you hear this but Uh oh my fella's kink is he loves to be sucked off while sitting on the toilet having a shit oh my no the poo particles (laughs) and she wrote in part two and yes i fucking do it for him the things we do for our men I wonder is it because it's stimulating his G-spot that he's having a shit? I don't know. Maybe finger him in instead. Maybe just don't do that when he's shitting. On the toilet having a shit and she's no, but sucking the him off. Smell! You'd want to really be in love with someone for that. I don't think care how much. Like, I wouldn't even be in a room with somebody when they're shitting. Yeah. Like, I, if you were shitting in the bathroom, I, like, and you're my best friend, if you yeah. were shitting, I wouldn't even go in there. Yeah. No. No, I don't think I'd want you in there. Especially not licking me out. Oh! <laughs> imagine no that's more intimate like at least with, with a man there's like a, a tool there that you can just kind of move it around and where you really have to fucking the balls your head to be in the toilet bowl like if you're fucking eating out a woman while she's shitting while she's shitting fair fucks to you love no she, I don't, don't think you're a scumbag but it's not for me she's really setting the bar high for other fucking yeah. girlfriends out there someone wrote in and said I like people pissing into my mouth while they fart <laughs> oh very creative Pissing and farting. Imagine you farted though. You know the way sometimes you fart and the bubble travels up, right? So imagine you were pissing, you <gasps> farted, the bubble, and the, then the bubble pops and piss just goes. <laughs> pissing in the mouth? No. 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 I couldn't. Would no. you rather someone fart in your mouth or piss in your mouth? Oh. I think a fart in my mouth. Oh, I don't. A yeah. fart. I think I'd rather someone fart in my mouth. Than piss, piss in, in my mouth. mouth, yeah. I think so. What about you? I don't. That's I don't even know if I can answer, answer that. Yeah, I don't know which one. I'd. I don't think I. Obviously, I wouldn't like either. But a fart in my mouth would be hilarious. Imagine your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> like it'd be funny. There'd be a funny factor to that. Yeah, so. but no, no, because no, I don't know. It depends on how big the piss is and how dr- hydrated the person is. I suppose there's a lot of factors you need to consider. Yeah. Like what if that that person had diarrhea and, and they ended up sharting in your mouth, like. <laughs> I know I, I don't know it's a difficult question to answer I don't want to think about it <laughs> maybe we'll put up a poll yeah would you yeah, yeah that's actually yeah. a good idea put up a poll okay when we were younger me and my wife used to go dogging in Boredale in Enniscorty nice love all the peep and toms watching us I don't think this happens anymore in that location but yeah dogging is our kink nothing to do with dogs by the way laughy face yeah there is a dog in Spot and Ferry Carrig is there yeah you know where, where that castle is when you're coming across to the bridge um yeah towards Enniscorty you know yeah. where that castle is yeah you know the car park that's in the there do- yeah <gasps> somebody was telling us on a night out that he goes in there a lot of gays and dogging and oh, stuff really? in there yeah I was only I only took a walk in there the other day yeah I made up in the car so like, yeah on my own yeah I was on my own what was she doing exactly she knew exactly I was taking in the view 
Of what? <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> anyway, so mm. your man said nothing to do with dogs, by the way, right? So mm. it's just like, where does the term dogging come from? Okay. Right? Dogging refers to a practice where people engage or watch sexual activities in semi public We don't have to explain that, right? The theory behind the name is that dogging originally referred to people who would use walking their dogs as a cover for ah. watching or participating in these activities. Would you, would you participate in dogging? No, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. I don't know. But then again, like if you've seen two people having sex in the car, are you not going to not look? I am totally going to look. Do you look. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think you would. But look. I'd like the idea of like, do you know, say I was fucking Aaron or whatever in the car. Mm. And then like, because obviously people are not going to be at your fucking windscreen with binoculars like this. You know, they're going to be hiding around not to be caught looking. So you're not going to Unless it's Jade. Uh, yeah, unless it's Jade. Jade's going to be in the car then. Yeah. <laughs> but like... They're not, you know, so you're not directly going to see him, but you're going to know there's going to be eyes on you. Yeah. I think I can find that kind of hot. But yeah. if they were like standing at the door, just like staring, then I'd be a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. With the idea that I can't see them, but they can see me. Yeah. Kind of turns me on yeah. a little bit. No, I get you. That's kind of I don't hot. know if I'd be in. So I don't know. Yeah. But then again, I like the idea of strangers watching me and stuff. Yeah. But then have you ever tried to have sex in the car? It's actually so awkward. It is as a so lesbian, awkward. though. It's as a lesbian. As, as a half straight person, too. A half straight person. Yeah. It is awkward. Anyway, thank you for sending that yeah. in. Not sure how to phrase this, but my kink is being able to persuade someone to try things or being the first one to do it with or to them. That sense of being so into me to allow me or even consider it to m- makes me horny like nothing else. Not sure if it's weird, but here we are. Love the pod, you sexy motherfuckers. I, I love that. Yeah, I kind of that. I love trying new things yeah. with somebody that Dave never tried before. Like, yeah. I love that whole experimental yeah. kind of... But it's also that sense of... Security. You be, no, yeah. you being adventurous, like yeah. the wild one, and someone else thinking, yeah. oh, wow, they're very yeah. adventurous and wild I love and good that. in bed. They know yeah. what they're doing. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like, like a, a power thing. Yeah, no, I'd be into that. That's, yeah, I'd yeah. be into that as well. Has she ever had chicken out of a vagina, though? No. No, no. No. Right. I don't know if this is a kink, but I love pretending to be strangers with my boyfriend. We would role play that we have partners and pretend to have an affair. The kinks where a couple pretend to be strangers and engage in role play as if they are meeting for the first time is commonly referred to as the stranger kink. Yeah, so it's common. I don't know if I'd be, like we were saying in the car earlier on, I don't know if I'd be able to keep a straight face yeah. with role play. Yeah. Like, I love the idea of that, like mm-hmm. just meeting someone in a hotel and flirting like you don't know them and yeah. be like, you know, I shouldn't really be doing this. I never did really do things yeah. like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But like, I don't know if I'd be able to hold a character. Yeah, I'm Do you know what I mean? Now, I'd have to go with the full shebang, right? So if I was going to do that with Jade now, we'd have to like meet in a bar mm. and then pretend and go from there, like yeah. go the full hog. Yeah, oh yeah. If we were in the bedroom no, and then I don't we just think started you, it. No, because you're in your familiar atmosphere then, yeah. it has to be totally out of your own kind of familiarity. Yeah, yeah. But, but like yeah, you said, I don't yeah. know if I could keep Yeah, I don't know if I'd be able face. to keep it up. Like, I think Jade would be very good at it though because she's a really good actor. Yeah. Do you know? Well, I'd, I'd be good enough at, at that type of things too as well, but it's just... It'd be the giggles to get me, you know me. Yeah. I laugh at fucking everything. I like, I'm, I'm and I'd, I'd totally ruin the vibe, yeah, I think. I would totally ruin the vibe. Yeah. I might try it, though. I can't do any role play. Aaron, can we do a bit of role play some night? See how we go. Just me in a pub somewhere and just pretend we don't know. Oh, that's turning me on. <gasps> what if? Oh, my God, right? Mm. What if the four of us do it, right? <laughs> Here we go. No, 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 right? She's just mad to write, Aaron. No, like... not that part. But... <laughs> I go to the pub with Aaron as Aaron's girlfriend and you go to the pub with Jade as Jade's girlfriend yeah. and we meet as we don't know each other and you're like, oh, this is my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, this is my boyfriend. See, I think that'd be harder then, for me to keep a straight face And then. then like me and Jade like pretend to, like, to have a sneaky affair in the bathroom and stuff mm. and then you and Aaron fuck off and then like, we, I, I'm like, Aaron, what are you doing with you? And he'd be yeah. like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then Jade would be like, it's okay, baby, I'll sort you out and stuff and all. Oh, wow. We're getting you were getting <laughs> Let's move on. (laughs) Stat. Let's move on. Stat. (laughs) My daughter's dad had a kink for being breastfed. He used to drink my milk and wank at the same time. I'd obliged just to get out of sex. I was a closet gay at the time. Uh, Ah, so many different factors in there. (laughs) The kids, titties, lesbian, yeah, lesbian, everything. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Overwhelmed. Um, I don't know if I'd. 
men sucking on titties. Yeah, because when you're breastfeeding, right, you don't look at like your boobs as a sexual thing at all anymore. Yeah. You just look at it as a necessity to feed yeah. your kid. That's what it is. Yeah. No, but like, do you know, when you're when you don't, when you're not breastfeeding, you're back to, mm. oh, my boobies are sexy now. I'm yeah. going to use them to my advantage yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But like when you're breastfeeding, you don't see them as anything like that. Mm. So men, I think it'd make me uncomfortable. See, men only find tits sexy because it's an, a maternal oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Weirdly. Yeah. That's the reason. It's back to primal yeah, kind of thing. That's yeah. the reason men actually find tits sexy yeah. because of their. Yeah, but I find tits sexy though and I'm not a man. Yeah, but like, are we conditioned to be brought up to thinking tits are sexy? Do you know what I mean? Maybe, Do you know what I mean? Because we cover them up and it's like, oh, you can't be showing your nipples and stuff. I mean, because if I look at a man's nipples, I'm like, I'm not turned on by a man's nipples. But I'm turned on by a woman's nipples. Yeah, maybe. But it's because like, they're always covered up and no, you can't be showing your tits and all that. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Society's kind of conditioned I don't think it's weird for men to suck on tits and try breast milk I don't know is it weird no that's not weird but like weird. I, like it wouldn't turn me on do you know what I mean like if someone was sucking on my titty while I was just finishing breastfeeding my kid and was having a you'd wank, probably find a I relief just, I just kind of be like oh that's weird you'd probably find a relief you'd be like oh dang yeah I know my tits are so hard so sore sometimes oh my God. you're like my boobs are so sore they're so hard please no because when you get mastitis as well so when you get blocked I remember I had mastitis before um, from breastfeeding and it kind of blocks up so mm. you have to get someone to suck it to re yeah like open the yeah. things and stuff that's just a nice thing to do yeah that's yeah, just yeah I'll suck on your yeah. tit here I'll, I'll mm. relieve that pressure for you it's the least thing I can do right you on. know I'm a woman who hates my feet but I'm dying for a man with a foot fetish to just adore them massage them mm. praise them I'm dying to give a foot job too yeah ever given a foot job yeah I think I've asked you that before yeah I just can't imagine that looks sexy yeah, but if they're into it, like, I get more turned on by them being turned on by it. So, like, these like are your I, feet, right? Yeah. So, like, but it's not do your really... feet be like, do your feet be like that or do they be like that? No, I have them like that. So, like, you're so, all... But I have a real high arch, so when I put my feet together, like, it's like a perfect little, yeah. little entry hall. I know, but do you not look funny? Yeah, but they're not looking at you. <laughs> I would, because I think that was funny. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, men with foot fetishes is, is like, if you, they do really do, like, looking at the passion of how much they look after your feet is kind of hot, to be fair. Yeah. Like, I do, I'd always, like, before, just seem to attract the men with the foot fetish, but I was always obliged, but it turned me on, like, them, like, licking up my foot and all, even though I'm not into feet, like, it turned me on just no. looking at their tongue gliding up Ew, a body part. Like, no, get the fuck away from my foot before I kick you in the face. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. An old situationship of mine got turned on by sucking my nose. Apparently, it's a real kink too called nasolingus. So weird, he wouldn't do anything bar suck my nose and he became hard as a rock and ready to shove it in. He didn't last long when he let that secret out of the bag. That's a bit weird. It is a bit weird, but you know what? What? Brings me on to the next part. Oh. Funny kinks. Because that did come into it here. Naso- nasolingus arousal to sucking on a partner's nose what the fuck yeah. what I How don't get that no you couldn't be sucking no. on people's noses why would people be attracted to that I don't know why are people attracted to anything really I think I'd suck on a nose if there was like remnants of fucking drugs maybe on her yeah. so it's probably the closest thing I'd suck to a nose on no I wouldn't suck a nose you know I mean? no. imagine you su- oh! no, a- now you're gonna finish my set and <laughs> suck the snot out of it <laughs> Okay, mm. quickly moving on. No, let me. I have I more funny kinks. Oh, I already have more funny kinks, right? Thought we were still going on a bit of snot. No, so we might as well because that transitioned nicely yeah, into I funny have kinks, other, right? Loads of other things, done. Okay, Danny, what do you think this is, right? right. Auto plushphilia. Something to do with teddies. Almost correct. Feeling attracted to oneself when imagining being dressed as a giant cartoon, oh, stuffed animal, I or seen plush that toy. Last night when I was looking up kinks, actually. <laughs> what the hell? Imagining yourself as a cartoon. Yeah. That's crazy. Or stuffed animal. People love some serious imagination. My imagination it must be shy. Yeah, like, I could never. No. I could never. I'd lose focus after about seven seconds. I'd be like, fuck, I'm in. I was dishwasher. sitting here trying to think about like the kinkiest thing I'm into. I'm actually like really boring. I don't really have like like I don't have specific like I'm kind of into everything do you know what I mean yeah, no it made but me not question not myself now sucking noses and stuff no. yeah no it made me question myself like this is really opened up and I'm like I really don't get yeah. down and dirty enough yeah like yeah but as long as you're satisfied you're I'm satisfied. gonna start doing some of these things I'm gonna start sucking on Jade's nose tonight now see how I feel I, I, I'm okay with that you're okay mm-hmm. 
What? I'm not into it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you totally she look like just, you're into She literally just there. winked at us as she said that. Right. <laughs> What's this one? Catmophilia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, so I'm trying my best. I don't know. <laughs> Arousal to caves, valleys, and crevices. Narrow cracks in na- narrow cracks in the rocks or walls. That's so strange. Uh, I love a crevice, but not on like, a body. Like no, but on like, a body, like not on it. I know myself. Have you ever seen a nice looking wall? But that's when I wanted to drive into it and yeah. kill myself, not wank to it. So, next funny one, right? Mm. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, right? Climacophilia. Oh, something to do about climaxing, is it? The arousal to falling down the stairs. What? These can't be, these can't be real. But just goes to show people do get turned on, but can literally get turned on by anything. Imagine like just standing behind your I get your turned girlfriend. on by somebody I hated falling down the stairs now, that turned me on. Like, no, yeah, die actually bitch. Actually sexually <clears throat> aroused though. Yeah. Imagine kicking a girlfriend down the stairs. Oops, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. Mm, what are you doing? My neck is broken. Why are you wanking? <laughs> Why are you touching yourself right now? I'm literally on a stretcher getting into the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that man got a heart on? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Lithophilia. What's that? Feeling aroused by stones and gravel. I okay. kind of have that. Yeah, well, yeah, but yours is more... Yeah, but do you get aroused by it? I don't know, but I could fuck myself at one of them. Like, look at the long Oh, gravel. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Big claw one. Like, it makes more sense than being aroused by someone falling down the stairs. Yeah, it does make Do you know what I mean? Sense, yeah. like I could fuck myself with a stone. Right, last funny one. Right. This is the weirdest one, okay? Okay. Psychrophilia. Okay. Arousal to being cold and watching others who are cold also. What the fuck? <laughs> Burr. Ooh. <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> so cold, you turn the heating on? <laughs> no. Oh, cold. yeah. How cold are you, You sure baby? you want the heating on? Yeah. You How sure? cold are you? Tell what? me. Are there's there's no more oil left in the tank, babe. So yeah, sorry. So sorry. Your hands numb? Show me your hands. Let me feel how cold they are. Put them on Why? my dick. Maybe it's a nipple thing. Because you know when you're cold, your nipples get aroused? Yeah, Or maybe. your nipples get hard and big? Yeah, but do you ever notice as well when you're cold, your boobies get real firm too? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No. Your boobies firm up. Because we did the that. dip into the nip there for um, charity a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I was in the water. And everybody was obviously stark fucking naked. It was really weird. Like, it was great, but it was really weird being around, like, 600 women absolutely completely naked. Did you feel I awkward? Fe- yeah, when it was first came to taking off the bat robe, I yeah. was like, right, okay. But, like, because I'd be really conscious of my body, but, yeah. like, there was women of all shapes, ages, sizes, yeah. like, there. So yeah. once everybody... Cause so everybody starts running to the water, and it was nothing but, like, hundreds of, like, bums in front of me. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and like tits everywhere. Tits everywhere. I was like, this is... A, but then it was really kind of empowering and stuff the way that like everyone was just having normal conversations and hugging each other like Ellen him up. yeah Ellen <gasps> we were in the water and I Ellen never and Ellen was like we were just she was like I'm so proud of you for doing it and I just gave me a hug and I was like Ellen we're hugging completely naked this you hugged the- Ellen naked yeah wow when's I the know. next one next year is Ellen going to be there yep great <laughs> <laughs> sign me up I love doing charity work <laughs> What a great but idea. That's what I was I was in the water and like my boobs are out and I was like, my God, my tits actually look fucking great now. Yeah. So is this a thing that everyone hugs naked? Yeah. Uh, this is a part of the whole yeah. charity thing? Right. Yeah. And um, let me know when the next one is. I will. Okay. No problem. Because I, I always like to do my part for society. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wrote in and said, we all like different things and like to explore, but we need to promote aftercare. Checking in with one another after to make sure all parties feel happily and comfortable with what just happened. Communicate. That's very important. That is very important. I feel a lot of people, especially if you're into kind of the more, like especially with degrading kinks and stuff like that. Yeah. You need to like make sure that the other person is happy and comfortable afterwards and that like you, you know, express like that, Mm. you know, you don't feel that way about them and stuff. Dead from a donkey punch. Yeah. You all right, babes? Yeah. How'd you feel after that? How'd you feel? You okay? Yeah. Bit of aftercare. Bit of aftercare. Let me give you a head massage. Yeah. Lift her up onto the stretcher. Do you know? Dead. Help carry the coffin. It's Dead. all part of aftercare. Yeah, it's all part of the aftercare. All part of yeah. the aftercare. Just make sure you have the expenses there for the funeral yeah. and all. Yeah. Yeah. Then Very you're good important. to go. Good Very to go. Very important. Um, heard of a lad obsessed with shoes and used to fuck his missus through a shoe. He actually damaged her once with a heel. So he obviously you must have put a hole in the shoe, put his dick through it and then fucked her with the shoe being the middle... Yeah, that's weird. Cain Fall? Cain Fall. Excuse me? Yeah. What? Yeah. How would you put your dick through your shoe? Obviously, he cut a hole or something. He must have some long dick. 
What size shoe was this? No, but do you know what I mean? Was like it a it, child's if shoe? You, if you put like the shoe this way and then cut a hole, so then you're just slotting it on and then just... Yeah, that's fucking weird. That is weird. That is weird. Yeah. Like I know if shoe kinks and stuff, like men get really turned on or and women if you have a foot fetish, but they get turned on by like women wearing sexy, like how women's feet look in different types of shoes and yeah. stuff. But I've never heard of anybody actually fucking a shoe while fucking their missus at yeah, the same no. time. The only the only time I think that would be acceptable if the shoe was Gucci or something. Imagine <laughs> someone like getting a, a yeah, runner. a bit of a red sole or something, yeah, maybe a I mean? hot leg. Like, you know, you know, you can't be going down and getting a shoe no. out of Jones and then fucking me with that. Like, no. do you know what I mean? Can't be doing no or gonna, that. No. no, if you're gonna fuck me in any shoe, make sure it's like expensive. Um, gooning. It's a more intense version of edging. What do you think about edging? Oh, I kind of like I edging. I love edging. Yeah, I do. So it's where like you'll get them off just to the point of where they're about to come and then you stop like, and yeah. leave them alone and then you get the build up again and then you stop. It's like expert teasing. It can literally yeah. go on for, yeah. it can go on for days really yeah. if you're good at it. Like, Oh, oh I couldn't it. have a days now. Oh, no. I love edging. No. And I love edging some, I think I love edging someone more than I love being edged if you yeah. know what I mean yeah. because then when they eventually do come like the orgasm that they have is yeah. fucking insane yeah. like I love teasing Jade to fuck until she actually feels pain in her yeah. vagina and she's like yeah. I need you to like yeah. I need you baby I need you inside I need you. me I need you inside I'm like yeah me. it makes me feel like a boss yeah. then Somebody wrote in, remember when people thought a foot fetish was weird? How fucking wrong were they? Yeah, foot fetish is so normal. Yeah, but back, back in the 90s though. <laughs> yeah, well. You'd nearly get arrested fair. if you had a foot fetish. I know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was almost as shameful it's, as coming out as gay. Yeah, almost. Do you know? But yeah, it's weird. Like if somebody said like that they had a foot fetish, I like would not put any pass on it oh, at no, all. Oh, no, like, not at all. I'd be like, that's so normal. No, I wouldn't put a pass on anyone really. No. Except that person falling downstairs. Like I don't. And I fucking someone to shoe, yeah. that's a bit weird. Fucking someone to shoe, that's weird. Yeah. Like I'm open to a lot of things, but yeah. I don't want my shoe, my vag being pounded. No. In between a shoe. Like. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wouldn't be for me, no. It's not for shoe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dressed up my man in lingerie once for a giggle. Stockings, panties, bra, suspenders. He looked so hot and the sex was so good that he now wears mostly female underwear as a norm. What's your take on guys in lingerie? I think, I was going to say I think that's sexy, but obviously I am a lesbian. But I think men who will wear women's lingerie are like generally fun people. Yeah. And guys who are like up for the laugh yeah. and who are like laid back yeah. and open minded yeah. and that's my type of yeah. people in general Yeah. so not that I would find it attractive but yeah. like I feel oh, like, like I am done yeah but I like yeah. there was one night when me I, oh, did I he? Ra- no but it was literally first split I robbed yeah. his underwear and put it on he was oh. like why the fuck does my fucking boxers look better on you blah yeah. blah blah and then I was like here put on talking now we put it on and literally it, he'd only pulled it up and he pulled it right back down again but did he? it was like I wasn't turned on by it and yeah. he wasn't turned on by it but the laugh and the giggle yeah. that we had it was like a really intimate yeah. moment like I loved how comfortable he was like you could literally say and yeah. to that man he'd fucking do it like yeah. he just does not give no, I think a that's flying fun. fuck yeah I think that's fun yeah wouldn't be there was another guy that I was seeing that liked to wear like women's like stockings and, yeah. and tights and stuff like yeah. that I don't know if I'd be into that yeah as a way of turning me on mm. but like if they're turned on I'm turned on kind I get of you do you know what I mean I get you I'd be kind of like that yeah. as well if someone else turned on then yeah I'm turned I'm on I'm turned like, on by yeah. whatever it is um, have you got loads of so no that's the last of the things but I have some weird yeah I looked up some weird stuff yeah. as well I'm definitely going to be saying these wrong so right, we'll, take, we'll take turns right? we'll take turns right formicophilia is an uncommon kink where individuals have a fascination with insects <gasps> It involves finding pleasure in the sensation of insects crawling on the skin or even being used in sexual context. The psychology behind the form of cophelia can vary from person to person. Some individuals may find the sensation of insects crawling on their skin arousing due to the unique tactile stimulation it provides. For others, it could be linked to a sense of taboo or the thrill of engaging in something unconventional. Oh, gosh. Yeah. If you had to pick any insect to crawl on your vagina, what would it be? None. No, you had to pick one. Someone had to go into your head. Like a tarantula or something. A tarantula? It's the yeah. last thing I thought you were going to say. Yeah. A tarantula. Yeah, I like tra- I like spiders. I like spiders as well, but I don't know if I want one on no, my No, but vagina. imagine looking at it and it just it wouldn't turn me... But, you know, just like... The movement, actually. Yeah, just like, real slow as it's like... You're kind of a bit scared, but you're kind of like... Oh. Do you know, oh, that was this. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of have yeah. to that now. Oh, no, I love the idea of like... um Like a snake... 
yeah no, like, like snakes a, I love snakes yeah like the idea of like a snake like just slithering yeah I don't know if I get turned on but the whole kind of like oh this is kind of yeah like a power thing like look at me and my mm. badass snake wrapped yeah. around my naked body a badass snake <laughs> another one dendrophilia the attraction to trees is indeed an intriguing kink. People with this interest may feel a deep connection to trees, finding them aesthetically pleasing or even sexually arousing. Oh, wow. The psychology behind it can be quite diverse. Some individuals may feel a strong spiritual connection to trees, finding them aesthetically pleasing and symbolizing strength, growth and tranquility. For others, it could be linked to a desire for a unique and unconventional form of intimacy. I think my mum had that. Yeah, your mom did love trees. My mom loves trees. She had a certain kink for those Japanese maples. I've never seen her had sex with a tree, but no. I've seen her like appreciating them yeah. and like looking after them and stuff and all. Yeah. You know? I wonder if like those tree huggers and all that you see that just really love trees. I wonder if they actually secretly turned on by them. I have and a friend why. like that. You really? know my friend? Okay. Yeah. Her name's her name rhymes with Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know Smith well. I'm going to ask Smith if she's attracted to trees. Because we'll she loves Smith. hugging them. We'll ask Smith. We'll ask Smith. <laughs> right, I have a weird one, right? Like, what? Stigmata play. Have you Ooh, ever heard of this? No. Right. Fantasies involving the stimulation of the wounds of stigmata, which are marks resembling the crucifixion Ooh. wounds of Christ. This can be deeply symbolic and often involves significant role play. Oh. So like I'm, I'm an open wound yeah. and someone like rubbing it and all. Like, no, that's a bit strange. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I wonder, does it... In Proper Bible basher shit now, I'd say that is people that are like so fucking... Demonic. Yeah. Kind of into a demonic play though. Fucking the hands of Jesus. Mm. Sticking their dicks in the fucking nail holes of Jesus' hands. Amen. Why is that turning me (laughs) off? Is it? A little bit. I'm definitely going to hell after saying that. (laughs) We were going there long enough. I don't believe in God, but just going to cover my own arse. I'm so sorry, Jesus. Um, Fornophilia is a unique kink where people enjoy using a person as furniture. It involves incorporating a person into furniture-like positions, structures for pleasure. It's definitely an intriguing one. The psychology behind it can vary from person to person. Some people find pleasure in the power dynamic when one person acts as the furniture for another, creating a sense of objectification or submission. I get it. Because remember that time that guy wanted to be a footstool for you? Yeah. Yeah. And he was before he used to get yeah. on his hands and knees and I'd be there watching telly, like yeah. drinking bottles of beer. Yeah. And I'd, he'd, I'd just have my feet resting on and he'd just be stark naked that'd and be so handy so turned on by it that'd be so but handy I was really enjoying the quiet time yeah imagine though <laughs> I was like this is fucking great don't even have to open the recliner away you go big boy it's so handy like oh, I don't have an ironing board babe come here for a minute just, <laughs> just doing my what are you doing just doing my ironing yeah. on my man yeah. he loves it yeah, yeah, he was the first person there that I come across with that, but like that, he was extremely submissive. So I think it is more so yeah. the objectification and the submission part of yeah. it. Um, if you could be, he wanted furniture, to like clean my house and stuff. He wanted to be used it like a, as a maid and Why all. Why the like. fuck did you get rid of him? Because <laughs> he's a fucking what? angel. You got rid of him. You wanted to clean your house and be your footstool <laughs> and your ironing board. <laughs> if you could be any piece of furniture, what would it be? Hmm. I'd be a stool. I'd be like that. <laughs> Sit on my face, bitch. Come on, babe. Sit on my yeah, face. Probably. Yeah, in probably. Yeah, in a restaurant. In a restaurant. Yeah, just go but in a God restaurant. God only knows what's going to sit on you. Know? Yeah, but that's the fun and the risk of it, though. Well, you get on, you that's the fun and the risk of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like Russian roulette, but yeah, with exactly. your face. Like. I'd be a stool. What would you be? Mm, I don't know. Like a sex swing or something. Oh, no. You can't be a sex swing. A lamp, then. A lamp? Yeah, because I can be turned on all the time. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, that was a funny joke. That was such a fake laugh. Uh, right, it's my go. You've said enough. How have I? Oh, yeah, go on. Right. Phony necrophilia. Right? Mm. Necrophiliacs might hire a sex worker to lie uh, during intercourse, safely mimicking a dead body. Or explore the world of freezable sex toys designed mm. to stimulate the experience of sex with the dead. 
<sighs> that's just one thing I can't get down with. But like phony necrophilia, I feel like if you're into necrophilia, it's like you're into necrophilia. I don't think it's phony. I mean, if you're into having sex with someone who's pretending to be dead, yeah. do you not really want to have sex yeah. with a dead do you person? Remember what was what was his name? Rathstales, remember? Oh, yeah, he was, he was basically the fucking yeah. dead body. Yeah. That was weird. I he think that's a red flag. He was fucking weird. He was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Never, I can't believe you just laid there like a dead body for him. Oh. The girl at the beginning was right. You do anything for men, don't you? Oh, I was very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. Like, just picture you lying there. Somebody wrote... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Be like, shut up, Moan and Willie. You're meant to be dead. I think it's a red flag. Oh, of course it is. But he was a red flag altogether, to be fair. He played a very good part till he... He had a rat's tail, Danny. You should have known this from the beginning. <laughs> You should have known this straight off from his tail. Tinder fucking profile pictures. <laughs> you seen the rat's tail and you still went, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You still matched with him. Yeah. You asked for that. You knew I you were going to be I didn't know there was a rat's tail until he came down, to be fair. Blech. Acrotomophilia is a paraphilia in which an individual expresses so- strong sexual interest in amputees. It is counterpart to, I don't know what that word, the desire to be an amputee. In a survey of anchor ac- uh, whatever leg amputations were preferred over arm amputations amputations of a single limb over double amputations and amputations that left a stump over amputations that had no stump mm. i was reading because i was i don't have that right but i was reading something i thought was a bit too much right mm. so that whole like amputee thing mm. but <laughs> came across this weird thing right where people like during the act of sex, like want their toes and their fingers not bitten off. Oh, yeah, and that that's it's kind of like the same kind of thing. This is, I think I have this one. Hang on, yeah, that's that goes back to that vorophilia. Remember, yeah. you were talking about that. Yeah, vorophilia, also known as vor, involves fantasy of being eaten or eating another person. The psychology behind this can vary, but some suggest it may relate to themes of dominance, submission, or control. There's only so much you can bite off me, though. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you got to leave something there. Yeah. What are you going to do when well, all your like fingers it, and yeah, toes well, are gone? What's the first thing you're going to go to bite like? A finger. I kind of oh, no, get I'd it. Bite the neck or, or something. Would you ever just be so into someone that you're just like, oh, you just want to oh, fucking yeah, like eat Like that them? cuteness aggression. You know, yeah. when you look at your animals, you're like, oh, I just want to fucking eat. Oh, you I just want to fuck you. Oh, oh. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just want to fucking love you. Yeah, I get that. <clears throat> Army Hammer. Right. Guys, look that up. Jay said it was very interesting. It talks about cannibalism in the bedroom. Mm. I do not recommend. Exophilia is a fetish, fetish, fetishism where whose object is the sexuality of extraterrestrials. In other words, it is a desire for extraterrestrial, alien, or other non-human life forms. Ooh, mm. that's. I feel like that'd be something you'd be into. I think I'd kind of be into that. Like, like I love the idea of being like adopted by aliens and get poked and prodded and fucked and then just like throw me back down to earth to be like, I'm done with you now. It does kind of turn Using me on a blues. little bit to think yeah. about like an alien coming in with big long fingers going inside me, you know? Mm. That's weird. But why is it different? If doing you can something? hear a humming in the background, we're sorry, but some ignorant wankers cutting their grass while we are trying oh, to be. Fingers crossed it's a UFO. <laughs> <gasps> they heard us. Oh. They heard us. They heard us. Do you ever think you were abducted? No, but there's people that fully believe that they have been, Right, though. I don't think I've been abducted, right? But do you ever drive in your car, right? And then all of a sudden, you've been in one place. Yeah, and then, and all, then, you're, and then you've you're, no idea how you got there. And you're like, there. how the fuck I think that's I just, just disassociation, though. No, but like, it's so weird. It's happened to me a couple of times. Mm, and my only explanation well. is I've been abducted by aliens. Yeah. And then they've just put me back. Well, that is the only reasonable explanation you can come to, like. Yeah. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, of course I do. I think you'd be a little bit (coughs) close-minded to not think there was aliens out there. Mysophilia relates to soiled or dirty material or people. Mysophiliacs may find dirt, soiled underwear, feces or vomit to be sexually arousing. (laughs) Mm, Soiled underwear as in like poopies? Poopies. Yeah. I don't like, I don't mind dirty underwear. Yeah. Not shitty underwear, but like no dirty, stinky after sex underwear. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I get you. Have an old sniff. Do you have any more? Because I have a quite a somebody. Uh, <laughs> I'm yep. Osmosis Play. Oh. 
fantasi- fantasizing about absorbing or merging with another person in a non-literal, often symbolic manner, which can involve elaborate role play scenarios. So like, See, I like the idea of like when I am having sex, I'm a very passionate person. I'm mm. very sensual and yeah. stuff. So like when I am having sex, I literally want to feel like our souls are merging Intertwined. together. Intertwined. Yeah. Yeah. I get so kind of get that. Yeah. But I don't want my body melted into their body. That's a bit weird. Yeah. No, sometimes like Jade would be like, I literally can't get inside you enough. She's yeah. like, I want to be inside your skin. I literally only said that to Aaron last yeah. week. I was like, I actually fucking love you so much. Like I, a hug is not doing it. It's not I need enough. to be in your skin. Yeah. 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 It's I, not yeah, enough. It's not enough. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. I need to be in your skin. Yeah. We need to become one and then I'll be happy. When to become one. Need some love like I never need love before. I'm gonna make love to ya, baby. Anyway. Um, okay. Hey girls, looking for an opinion. I found out at a work event that my husband has a work wife. She was introduced to me as this by one of his co-workers. I was a bit shocked. I confronted him about it and he said it's just something they say, but I feel very uncomfortable since. Am I overthinking? Yeah, I don't think I'd like that. No, don't be calling people your work wife. Yeah, because like if you call someone your work wife, like there's a bit of flirt flirting there. Yeah, it is flirtation energy. It's flirtation energy. It's not... Like, you'd be like my work bestie. Yeah. If it was just a friendship vibe. Yeah. No, I don't like that. It would make no, me uncomfortable yeah, as well. I don't think I'd like that. I had a work wife before and now she's my girlfriend. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Well, yeah. We're not saying that's what's going to happen to you. Yeah. But no, I don't think you're overthinking. And anyway, even if somebody doesn't agree with you, if it makes you fucking uncomfortable, it makes you uncomfortable. Mm. And that's just the boundary it's you It's kind of down. disrespectful as well, though. Do you know what well, I mean? Well, the fact that she was introduced to, hey, this is it's, my work wife. Yeah, it's disrespectful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To be going around in work, calling someone else your work wife yeah. while you have a partner Well, like if home, it's like, your work wife, then there's a flirtation yeah. vibe there. 100%. Yeah. It's not just no, a No, I don't like it. Maybe it is innocent though. Yeah, maybe it is. But that's just our opinion. Ask for it, so suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's mean today. <laughs> Are you horny? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. She's horny. I get mean when yeah. I'm horny. Yeah. I do. Um Is that the end of the podcast? Yeah, oh, we always having so much fun. I know. Well, we've two more Patreon. Ones for the Patreon. We do. We have to move on to the Patreon, okay? I had a few things there about like where kings come from. So we can go on to that on the Patreon. Um if you want to know where kings come from, sign up to Patreon. Sign up to the Patreon. Yeah. Um we have cucumbers, condoms and Whipped cream. Yeah. So we'll leave that up to your imagination. What's going to happen <laughs> for the Patreon? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we that was fun. In, yeah, that was, was a good one. It? Yeah. Enjoyed that. Really one. hope you. And we have Kings Part Three. I know. We're taking it too far. In we there. had Libby and Jade back in the room with us as well. So we had our lovely little giggles. Yeah. In the let's back everyone out. clap for everybody. Yay! <laughs> right. The band is back together. Woo! Uh, thanks so much for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you again in the next cartoon. See you in the next cartoon. Bye. Bye. Bye.